This is where we start. This is where the education starts. We start by listening. And just in you listening to this video, you're making a difference. And in that making a difference, you're able to speak about it. And when you speak up, that's when the world starts to change. Racism is found around the globe, across our country, and throughout our province. It's found in individuals, in all kinds of organizations, and in systems like healthcare and education. Racism in Canada and in Newfoundland and Labrador began with colonialism. European settlers occupied land belonging to Indigenous people, took the resources, and imposed their form of government. But it didn't stop there. Black, Indigenous, and other racialized people also experience racism all across the country. I don't think there's any good reason to be racist, but people are racist because of, they don't know. They don't know what's going on in the world. They don't know anything about uh, different country, different nationality, different uh, culture. I feel like uh, this is racist because they don't want to, to learn or to share or to accept. They were walking down the street and uh, they had encountered some people through the water bottle to them and uh, you came by boat. It was really hurtful. As an Indigenous person coming from a family with um, an Indigenous dad and a white mom, um, it was kind of hidden. Like, you don't tell anyone you're Indigenous, you know, because the stigma that was attached to, and I'll say the word, an Indian, it, it, was, it was a dirty word. You were looked down upon. You were shunned. And when we talk about reconciliation and righting the wrongs of years ago, those things still happen today. Racism means so much more than what people think. It's not outright acts. It can be the littlest of implications that can have the biggest of impacts on someone's life. During the COVID-19, and uh, there is a spread. So the virus came from China. When Trump mentioned the China virus, there is a put might be some people really against the Chinese people. And we don't want that. Racism takes many forms. It can be discrimination in hiring or promotion, or discrimination in housing, health care, education, the justice system, or government. Racism can take the form of verbal or physical harassment, up to and including violence. It can be obvious, but it can also be very subtle. Racism causes pain. It causes anger. And it is a barrier to Black, Indigenous, and other racialized people achieving fair treatment at work, in their union, in all aspects of their lives. The common thought, I guess, amongst the white community is that right, racialized or people of color, Indigenous persons are coming to our province and taking our jobs. That's not so. You can look anywhere at any time, at any day, and there's help wanted signs. There's employers that are scrambling to fill positions. Our health system is in crisis because we don't have the workers to support the needs of the healthcare system. Racism really hurts the people. And we want to uh, eliminate the racism. If we cannot eliminate, at least we should do our part as a society. When I experience casual racism from my co-workers and supervisors on a day-to-day -day basis, I think what has happened now over time is most of us have just built this wall where you laugh it off, you shrug it off, or you just think about it later. And I think how it makes me feel is not so much so angry with myself later on, but a bit disappointed in not being able to stand up for myself. But it also feels tiring. Many of us feel a strong connection to our communities, to our families, to our heritage, to who we are as Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. But where we're going in the future is not rooted in the past. Instead of looking to the past and seeing the negative, look to the future. What can be done to better this place that we call home? Our province is bigger than it's ever been. 
It's bursting at the seams with culture and diversity. If we only focus on the way that we grew up or our preconceived notions of how Newfoundland is, you're only going to get a part of the story. Instead, opening your eyes can truly allow you to understand how beautiful of a place, how beautiful of a community that we have here.